Good morning. It's MJ, the creator of the Crow Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me this stunning, beautiful uh, Sunday morning here in Seattle. It is just perfect. Like the temperature is perfect. It's like the, the sun is sort of hazy. It is just, it's perfect here. Anyway, I'm getting a late start because our poor pup Layla had an upset stomach last night and I was cleaning that this morning for a good deal of time. So, you know, as I tell my daughter, I think that before she should ever consider having a child, she should take care of a puppy or take care of a dog from puppy stage till death. So like, you know, good 15 years and have to deal with all of the stuff that comes, all the good stuff and all the bad stuff, such as cleaning up messes, because you will inevitably have to clean up some really bad messes when you have a baby and when you have a puppy. And you will get stuff on your hands and it's going to be gross. So it's, I think it's a good primer. So, and it also means that you can take care of something and be responsible and, and nurturing during times when something uh, such as a puppy is sick. So anyway, let's get started here. It really makes you think about a lot less about yourself when you have to take care of um, a family member or, uh, you know, and that includes our furry family members when they're sick, you know, it's like our, you know, it takes us out of our, our human selves and we become a little bit more spiritual, perhaps connected in a different way. We see them in a different light. So anyway, let's get started. The first card is the foundation card, and here we have this lovely high priestess setting up, and I believe that she's probably with us right now. She is the she is the sign that you get from the universe. She's the one who's dropping hints left and right at you, trying to guide you, and here you are at your current situation, or at least a situation that is on the horizon. Look at that, interesting. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. So you're in a point right now where it looks like you can manifest something if you tap into your intuition, if you pay close attention. See their posture is very similar here. They're both looking upward and onward. Look who shows up again. Hello, Page of Cups. Well, well, well. So let's dive in here and see what we have going on. So the, the I'm sorry, the High Priestess as the foundation. You know, this may have started when you started, no, wait, this may have started when you started noticing um, the, like the clues the universe was sending you. It may have been a song that, that just hit the right chord. It may have been, um, you know, that you, you picked up a book randomly at, you know, at a bookshop and it was just about that same subject, you know, somewhere buried in there that you've been interested in or somebody mentions a seminar or just, these are like the ways that the high priestess likes to get her message to you. You know, it could be numbers. I'm a big fan of numbers. I notice numbers all the time. I notice them um, on license plates. I notice them and I'm having a series that just keeps repeating um, for me. And it's, it's almost to the point where you go, okay, I got it. You know, it's like you, you're literally now beating it into me. Um, but you know, these signs come in all different ways. And if you're receptive to them, it's almost like it's magical. I mean, it's almost like you feel like you are walking this planet with spirits. I mean, that are really trying to help you. I mean, these guides are there for your support. You know, they, they're, they're with you for the soul mission. So whatever it was that you came in here to do on this planet, they're here to guide you. And so right now, you have this high priestess energy, and that was setting you up for this current moment where you're in this 
you're like primed to manifest whatever it is that you want to manifest. But the key here is going to be tapping into the high priestess and paying attention because she's been around. She's been around you for quite some time. She's been dropping little hints, you know, here and there. You know, it, it may have been again, like, you know, just a, a random commercial that you see and you go, oh my God, that totally hits me like where I need to go. Like I, that makes sense. Or um, it, it's and the thing is with this is that you may not realize it at first, but then it's like, it kind of registers later, you know, you're like, oh yeah, that makes sense. So she's helping you throughout this whole spread. So she's here, this high priestess, you know, is not just in the past. She may have started in the past. She may have started leading you down this path, like dropping little like breadcrumbs, if you think about that, you know, um, opposed to something else that a crow could drop, but she's dropping breadcrumbs along the way to lead you to this time here and now that you're with the Ace of Pentacles, this is a time for you to get clear. Think about your entire situation. What obstacles may you face? How will you overcome them? You know, what opportunities are you sitting on right now? Are you missing an opportunity because you're not paying close attention to the signs that the High Priestess is dropping you? There is this opportunity here for a new start, a new beginning, and you are, you have a strength within you to move forward. This is a time where you're feeling grounded. Your energy is very solid. You feel secure in your place. And because of this, you can use your intuition to lay down the, the seeds. You can plant these seeds now so that they will blossom and you'll know exactly where to plant them. You know, this is the story of this crow who, you know, saw an opportunity, landed on this pinnacle, tapped into its its higher self, recognized that where it sat was perfect for growing plants, was perfect for planting seeds. And so because of that, you know, this bird used a combination of its intuition and its wisdom, its logical mind, and planted these seeds down here, which then, of course, grew. It knew that where it was positioned would be the right place for things to manifest and to grow. And so here you're getting your head out of the clouds, getting clear, getting crystal clear on what you want to do, where you want to go, how you're going to get there, and what, you know, how you're going to overcome any obstacles. What, are, what, what may oppose you in the future? So you're getting a, a good vision of what that is right now, right? You're constructing this story in your head. And part of this playing the story in your head is that when you, when you play it out in your head, you're able to see things um, and prepare for things and sort of like, you know, um, play the scenario game, right? Like if I do this and that may happen, if I do that, it's just like playing chess. So it's like if I, you know, you want to be five moves ahead. So here, that's what you're doing. But you're getting this, you're getting this download from the high priestess. The high priestess is there. She's giving you information. Now the page of cups also comes in. And this, I love that this energy is still with us this week. Um, you know I love the Page of Cups. This is, a, you know, somebody or some situation that's going to seem a little off-center, a little, you know, like out of the norm. And so when you open your heart up to new ideas, to, hear, to hearing new solutions, when you accept something or someone who may seem a little different, you know, who may like, you know, perhaps in the past you might have looked at that person and was like, oh, what can you teach me? But now you're like, Huh, yeah, what can you teach me, right? And so this is an energy of just opening yourself up, opening your heart up to new ideas, new expressions, you know, to a situation that will help you plant these seeds. Because when you plant these seeds, by the way, they will grow. They are going to be firmly planted because everything will have been a plan would have been planned for perfectly. This is where the stars come into alignment for you. So I love this. This is a great time to just kick back and look and see all around you the signs that are there. Pay attention. You know, get out of your, your human 
you know, brain that, that, that like I must you know, do chores on Sunday, you know, on Sunday brain and look around, even if while you're doing the chores, you know, maybe you, you pay attention to the brand name that that hammer is. Maybe that name is significant to you in some way. I mean, there are so many ways that the universe drops signs that you don't even pick up on at first, right? I mean, you could be behind a car that has this bumper sticker that is for a city that you've been dreaming to go to and all of a sudden, randomly, it's there. So I have, I'm going to tell you a quick story. And this is um, how I know that, that my guides are sending me signs. So uh, several years ago, I had this crazy experience. And I'm not going to go into too much detail other than um, when I had asked where I was, I was told that I was in Idaho. Right, which is weird because I've never been to Idaho. I really don't have much desire. I mean, I, I know it's a very beautiful place, but it's one of those places that um, I just, it, we have so many places that I need to go on my list of to do things. And maybe there's wonderful reasons to go to Idaho. So I apologize for those of you in Idaho. But anyway, um, long story short, I now see, so maybe this is a sign I need to go to Idaho. I see randomly when I'm in a funk, when I'm feeling down, when I'm feeling stressed out and I feel like I should just throw my hands up in the air, quit this whole thing that I'm doing here, get a day job because it's a, I can tell you it's a whole lot easier to go work for somebody else than to work for yourself. Um, when I get frustrated like that, lo and behold, that is when I see right in front of me a car with the Idaho license plate. That is when I'm driving and randomly I see an Idaho license plate and, and it's only in those moments when I'm feeling stressed and I'm feeling like oh you know when you just want to give up that is when there's a freaking truck with an Idaho license plate <laughs> parked in front of my house and so or my apartment and so this this is how I think the universe tries to convince us that when we're, when we're on the right path they will leave us signs and so for me it's the Idaho license plate Either that or they're telling me that I need to just maybe take a summer vacation there and discover, I guess, all the beauty that, that is there. So anyway, I, um, I hope that you find some signs today. Look around, pay attention to your surroundings. Really like key in, like, you know, tap into the universe, tap into that energy that is all around you. It is there for the taking. It is there for, for the learning. You know, we had the Hierophant um, this week a couple times as well. It's time to learn. So maybe, you know, this could be an opportunity to learn some more about your surroundings and what's going on with you and this energy that the High Priestess is um, offering. So anyway, much love to you. Bye for now and peace. Bye.